Alright guys, what's up? Al from It's Android's World here. Today, um, just taking a look at a new ROM that I found. Um, it's called Super D 1.5.1 with Nexus Launcher. And um, it's it's pretty much the best ROM I flashed yet for sure. Um, don't ask me if you if I think this is better than Star Energy or D Wang or Super D um, on the other video because I do. It has the best battery life. It has um, the one of the fastest ROMs I've ever flashed. And everything. It comes with a 10 megabyte RAM hack installed, and it's just really, really great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM. I haven't done too much with customizing it yet. I've actually been running it for three days now. Um, I have quite a few applications installed. I wiped my phone before this and installed back some applications, and it's just been running on my phone. So I just figured we'd do the ROM review and tutorial. So right off the bat, you get the Nexus launcher kind of looking. When you tap on it, it'll lift it up and you get the home, just like the real Nexus One phone, which by the way, I'm extremely planning on getting. So that's one of my favorite parts of this ROM. I just really like what that looks like. Um, this is based off of 1.6. If I jump into settings and scroll down to about phone, it is 1.6 firmware. And this does work on the G1, My Touch. Um, you know, it works on both of the phones. So, um, it also has this black notification bar. You can also get this in the white notification bar. And I figured when you swipe it down, it would be black still, but it actually turns into white. So, I don't know why they did that. But it is pretty much transparent. You can see the time and my icons there. So, that's one thing I like. And you do get five home screens. And I do believe there's auto, yep, there's auto rotate on the home screen. And you can still swipe through your screens just as easily. And swipe open your application drawer. And just flick through everything. Um, everything does work. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LEDs. Everything is working on it. When you launch open the browsing or the browser, you do get the full Android 2.0 browser or 2.1 browser even. Um, it's really, really nice up on top. And I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and launch open a website. We'll go to BBC News. Um, BBC News dot com and hit go and it does load pretty fast over Wi-Fi and I just want to show you guys the browser because in my Cyanogen video I said that Cyanogen is better because it has the 2.0.1 browser with multi-touch and double tap but um, this version also has it, so I really do think this ROM is better than Cyanogen and everything. Um, I can already start, you know, flicking around it, flicking around in the browser, which is pretty nice. Seems to be already loaded. Of course, I have my default Android zoom toggles, where I can just zoom in and out with those buttons. But I can also double tap, and it'll take me in, and double tap to take me back out. But I can use multi-touch. And it actually works pretty good. So that's the first thing I just want to show you guys. The browser does have multi-touch. does support the visual bookmarks. You can flick through those. So yeah. Um, that's the browser. It is the new messaging application. From 2.0. You know you have the people up there. And if I open up the dialer. Hopefully it doesn't show any contacts. Yeah. I have the dialer. And it's the new Eclair dialer. Which is pretty nice. And it's the totally new Android 2.0 phone application in general. Um, the search widget is still all the way up to the top. You do have the new 2.0 style widgets. If I long press and tap widgets. And jump into, for example, music. It's the new style widget and I can hit play. And it'll play one. And I can also long press and it does have the new news and weather widget which is a really really nice widget it's right there you can actually choose whether you want news weather or weather and news and I like just using weather hopefully it works 
There you go. So that's really, really nice. And it shows you, you know, the forecast for the day and everything. It's just one of the best ROMs there is. And one of the things that they actually ported to this firmware is Car Home. And this is really, really weird. It's a 1.6 ROM that has the 2.0 navigation feature. So I can hit Navigate. And it'll take me to the Google Maps navigation feature. I can go back. And I can speak. Let's try this out. Navigate. Okay, I just failed. Let's try again. Navigate to Museum of Natural History. Navigate to Museum of Natural History. So it works really, really well. Um, like really well. So that's one of the things I like. And yeah, you know, just the Nexus launcher. It's really fast. It's really smooth. It comes with um, the wired and wireless tether, YouTube um, settings, everything that normal ROMs comes with. It comes with it. Of course, the camera and camcorder both work. And yeah, it's just one of the best ROMs. It does not require a partition SD card or anything. So let's go ahead and see how to get this ROM, which is one of the most important things. Um, what you're going to want to do is unplug the USB door to your G1 or MyTouch 3G. Once again, it works on both. And just plug in the USB cable to the bottom of the phone. Scroll down the notification bar. Tap USB connected. Hit mount. And then you're going to go to your computer. Alright guys, so now what you're going to want to do is that your G1 is or MyTouch is now muted to the computer. Uh, wow, mounted to the computer. You're going to delete any file off your SD card. And then drag over the ROM. So just drag over the ROM um, to the root of the SD card. It's a 47.8 megabyte file transfer. You can see that right there, 47.8. I renamed it to Super D 1.5.1 Nexus Launcher. Um, I don't know what it comes called with. It's definitely something with Super D and Nexus. And once it's copied to the root of your SD card, hit um, eject and safely eject your phone from the computer and then go back to your phone. Alright, and now that we're at our phone, unplug the USB cable from it and close the USB door. Hopefully you guys have Arvin Ron's Recovery Image 1.5.2 like I do. Then you're going to power off your phone by holding down the end call button, tapping power off, and tapping OK, and let it power off. It shuts down pretty quick. And now that it's off, turn back on using home and power, and let it boot up. Once you get the vibration, you're booted into recovery and you can let go of the keys. And you guys probably know this um, regular procedure, just a full data wipe and flash. There's no special SPL required for this ROM. And also, guys, make sure you rate five stars. All you have to do is click a button. You just scroll down to wipe and let it data wipe. It's the full data and cache. Go back, go to flash zip from SD card, and flash SuperD 1.5.1 with Nexus Launcher. All right, guys, and when you're done, you're just going to hit reboot system now and let the phone reboot. Alright guys, and once it reboots, um, after that boot logo, the sexy one I mentioned, um, it'll be running the super fast Nexus Super DROM. Everything has to load up first. But um, yeah, once it's loaded up, you'll be running the ROM. Um, it's a really, really great ROM for theming and everything, guys. Um, has great battery life, really fast, very smooth. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So comment if you need any help. Make sure to subscribe and make sure you rate this video 5 stars. I'll see you guys later.